Hey guys, it's Samantha and I am finally doing my fourth quarter um, of 2018 planner flip through and I'm so excited. Um, I love a lot of these spreads and these are ones, I haven't posted a lot of these to Instagram, so these are ones that people have not seen because my life sort of fell apart starting in October and it was just bad times. But I love this monthly spread. This is when I started doing the like washi flags and pulling in like washi and I was really inspired by like Mandy and pulled in foil and you can, I'll do like a little wiggle. This was rose gold. I did pull in some regular gold with the washi tapes, but I really, I love this kit. Like this clip art from Kittenish Girl, just a huge fan. So this was a kit that I last year had used like a combo of the Glam Planner and the Scribble Prince Co for a week in my planner last year. And so then I used the leftovers this year to do like another spread. Um, this was almost all Scribble Prince Co stuff. I think the only Glam Planner stuff is some of the deco and like those dots. Um, and then everything else I think was Scribble Prince. And then I think I pulled those from my multicolor but this was clip art that I really, really loved from Bloomsicle. And I used pumpkin. I don't know if you can see, it's like orange foil. I, this is gold on the overlay down here. And like I pulled in some gold icons cause obviously I don't have orange foiled icons. Um, actually I will cause I ordered like the creamsicle wiggle it Wednesday. Um, but I did not have any orange icons. So this was when I got sick. Um, like it literally, I woke up and I was, you can see like I was so tired and I, I went for a walk with um, Joe and his friend, our friend Kyle. And then I like came home and just like passed out um, like red and then went to bed and I was so tired on Tuesday. Like I went to bed, I slept so much. I woke up and I could barely function. I made a doctor's appointment. Um, Joe actually drove me to that kickball game cause I was so tired. I was afraid I was gonna fall asleep behind the wheel of the car. Um, this Wednesday I just went in for Girls Who Code and I literally just laid on the sofa and did nothing. Um, I think I had a fever. This was the first time I had a fever was Wednesday. Like I felt so terrible. I was in bed until like 1.30 and then I got up and like showered and drove to work and I felt so awful the whole time I was doing the program. And then I came home and I like took my temperature and it was like a hundred and I was just like, well, that's why I feel like shit. And I thought like, oh, maybe I have a virus or something. But like, this was like the joint pain was just so bad. Like I remember just laying on the sofa, like everything hurt and I'd never had joint pain before. Um, so then I had my doctor's appointment and that was when like the, I got the blood work done. Um, and then like, I, I just ended up not going to work after the doctor's appointment. I still had a fever on Friday, so I did not go to work. Um, I sat on the sofa all day. I did a lot of voiceovers here cause like I could sit and like talk and I didn't have to do anything, but my hands hurt so badly. This was when I like couldn't type on my phone. Like I'd hold my pop, like my pop socket here and like use this finger cause like I couldn't move my thumbs. Um, it was, the joint pain was so bad. Um, what was going on here? Joe and I did a giant eagle date night so that I could get food. Um, I don't really know. Okay, so then this was a station stickers, like a neutral kit um, with champagne, champagne gold foil is real pretty. Um, so yeah, this is when I got my positive ANA, made a rheumatology appointment. 
I like hurt really badly. Nothing happened there. I like just basically have been coming home and crashing like every day. Like again, like came home and like had a glass of wine, listened to my audiobook, and did my puzzle all night because like I just could sit in a chair and that was it. Um this was the start of my week off work, which I definitely needed. Um I tried to bake macaron for the first time. They turned out okay, um, but I, I needed to get Silpat. I like tried making them a few times and then I ended up buying Silpat and I haven't made them since. Um, we had a date day with our friends and then I like came home and just chilled out. And then this was my birthday week, so I used purple and gold foil, like a ton of it. Um, I used the J. Crew Plans and Rose Color Days Harry Potter collab stickers in purple. I bought like a bunch of jewel tone colors because I wasn't sure what color I wanted to use with this and I ended up going with purple and I think it was the right choice. Plus like purple and gold feels very like magical to me. So this is when I started rereading Harry Potter. So I read the first two in book and then listened to audiobooks. Like I started reading Physical Prisoner of Azkaban and then I did the audiobooks for the rest of the series. Um, I like baked a bunch at the beginning of the week, like over the weekend and then Monday I made cream puffs, which were really good. Um, I got The Ark of Wicked King, which is the sequel to Cruel Prince by Holly Black, which I was really excited about. Um, Friday was my birthday and we went to Melting Pot and I ate too much. Joe and I were both like, thought we were gonna be sick. We ate so much. Um, I went for a walk with Joe and Kyle, had my manicure. Um, I actually felt good that night. Like I remember getting, it was like five o'clock on Sunday and I had been so tired and achy. Like I still had joint pain like this whole time. And I remember getting to Sunday and I had like a few hours Sunday night where I felt really good and I got like a ton of stuff done, like put out some of my like fall Halloween decorations and like I felt like myself for a few hours and it was like such a marked difference in my ever energy levels. And I was like, why don't, I'm like, I haven't felt this good in like two months, like, oh. Uh. So, um, and then this was the week before Halloween. I like the second half of this week better than the first half, but this was Glam Planner and I had had this kit from the previous year and I just decided to go with it. I forget what color those headers were, if this is steampunk or antique something or other, I, I don't know. Um, but it's like a gold copper duochrome sort of thing going on. Um, so I was like really, really tired, but I still, we went to a pumpkin patch and I was like, I shouldn't have done that. Cause then we had to go grocery shopping and I was just like dead. I had a doctor's appointment on Tuesday morning and I had to do program shopping before and after it. Cause program shopping always takes me like three times longer than I think it's going to. Um, this was a really bad pain day. Um, yeah, Thursday, bad pain day. Hmm. Oh, this is when I, I worked on Saturday. Um, I had, uh, this is when I did my rings set up with magic because my hands hurt. Like I hadn't really been planning and you can tell like I wasn't really doing a lot of like fancy lettering. Like I was just writing things like in all caps or like cursive. Um, my hands hurt so much it hurt to hold a pen. So I did my ring setup because that didn't require as much like bending. Like I just had to like cut papers with my paper cut cutter and like it was more arranging things and it didn't hurt. Um, but you can definitely tell my lettering is like not as fancy here. And I sometimes just like wrote things in like totally normal handwriting, which I normally don't do in my planner. Um, but yeah, so this was my pre Halloween kit. And then this was my November monthly, which I actually just did. I think I did this in December. 
Um, I do have this edited. I need to upload it. Um, and I just wrote everything in with normal handwriting, but I really love like that washi banner is so perfect. Um, we, I ended up moving my haircut into December um, cause it was the day before our like big Potter fair thing at work. And I had to be there in costume. I actually ended up taking, I was only there for like five hours instead of a full day. Like I came in an hour beforehand and then left when everything was over, like a half an hour after everything ended and I had cleaned up cause I was just so exhausted. Um, so I canceled a bunch of stuff. I was sick like this whole time. And then I got, um, like this is a headache from the medicine I was on. I had to like wait for the medicine to leave my body for the headache to go away. I was just so sick this whole week. Um, and we like didn't go. There was a wedding we were supposed to go to. We were supposed to visit my brother in Oxford. We did not go. Um, yeah, it was just kind of a bummer, but I really like how this spread turned out. Ooh, and then this was purple and silver foil. So I did like a girl boss Anna overlay here, silver simply gilded. There's like silver stars from um, Simply Watercolor Co. Lots of like silver stars and sparkles from Scribble Prints Co. Um, and then purple web headers, which are so pretty. Um, this is one of my favorite weeks that I've done. And then the Happy Halloween is from Rose Colored Days and that's in silver. Um, yeah, this is just really pretty. Um, what happened? Sick day. I might have left work early that day. I can't remember. Um, Joe met me at the door with a glass of wine because this I was just like done with this day. Um, I ended up staying till seven that day to like get stuff done. Um, what was, why though? Oh, it's cause I was getting stuff done for Potter Fair. Um, and then this was staff development day and which was like always pointless. It's like a day of just like sitting in an auditorium and being talked at. And my parents came into town for the weekend. Um, and then I just had like a really chill alone time day on Sunday to recharge. Um, this was my Harry Potter spread for our Harry Potter event at work. So this was silver foil. I did the constellation overlay down there because it always feels kind of like magical like astronomy sort of vibes um so again like I was able to use the J Crew plans and rose color days collab um I love these star headers from scribble prints co I think those are like real magical again the little silver star confetti from simply watercolor co so I voted had some wine, like I voted up here, but I this fit in down at the bottom. Um, Cho met me at the back door again with wine. Wednesdays are always like my really hard day. Um, I worked on displays, which is why I bought those Bob Ross munchkins from Once More With Love. Um, Joe was on call, I made myself mac and cheese for dinner. It was really yummy. Um, the Potter Fair went really well. I had my nail appointment. I got takeout from like a Mediterranean place that was next door. Um, Joe and I went to Trader Joe's on Sunday. We like went to Starbucks and then went to Trader Joe's together. And that was actually really fun. And then I just came home and like chilled out. And then this was a mini kit from Scribble Prince Co. It's actually, I think the only like newer format mini kit that I've purchased from Scribble Prince Co. I kind of am like not a huge fan of the new mini kit format. Um, but I really like, I think this was a mini kit exclusive and I really liked this clip art, um, cause it was like darker colors and stuff. Um, so I think I like, was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyways. Or maybe it wasn't a mini kit exclusive and I wasn't sure if I was going to use this or not. So I got a mini kit that way. If I didn't use it, I wasn't spending as much money. I don't remember why this was a mini kit, but I made it work. I put like, I cut the heart checklist there to like make my to-do list on the side. So it worked out. 
and I actually ripped my page down here is like super flimsy it like ripped up a bunch of stuff when I was doing my overlay I like it accidentally stuck in the wrong spot it was just a disaster and so I put a die cut over that to like a because it was ripped and B because this was like this is super flimsy to like add some structure to this page because I was like this is just gonna like tear off or something um but it covered a multitude of sins <laughs> so um oh this was like the week of never ending getting my nails fixed I had like this two of my nails broke like really badly um yeah I was just so stressed out um my laptop broke which contributed to like why I wasn't posting things even though I'd already done the voiceovers um went to bed early took a nap didn't feel that I came home at 12 30 um yeah my nail broke again we got Pokemon let's go I think we got that on Saturday we went to Target um, then we got the stuff to fix my laptop. Oh, this was my Thanksgiving. So this is when I started feeling really, really crappy, which I was super bummed about. But, um, so I had Monday, I was at my rheumatology appointment and then I cut 20 vials of blood drawn. So I had the, this too shall pass, which is the Malika's handwriting, like a collab with Mandy plans, um, or Mandy dreams, whatever her shop is called. Um, and I literally just laid on the sofa for like six hours. Um, Tuesday, I had to pick up my prescription and then the new like medicine I started made me really sick, but I didn't know it was the medicine and it was like a long acting drug. So it took like a week to get out of my system. Once I started taking, stopped taking it, um, it was just meh. Um, Oh, this was like my giant eagle trip from hell. Um, I think I talked about this in my memory keeping plan with me, but I don't know that I've uploaded that one. Um, it was just like, they had some like wine and beer tasting going on like throughout the entire rest or the entire giant eagle. And I was like, what? And then there were like, there was a barbershop quartet singing and I felt like I was in the opening scene of like a, early 90s Christmas movie or something and like some dad in a trench coat was gonna start like yelling at a cashier or something and then I was gonna be an extra in the background it was so bizarre and there was this woman who like bought like 500 plus dollars of groceries and then like had this coupon that wouldn't go through it was like a dollar off of like a greeting card and she like made us wait in line for the manager to come over and it took like 20 minutes and if I'd had cash in my wallet I would have just given her a dollar and been like please just like stop and you're holding us all up and I was so pissed off um and then this was Thanksgiving which was like a really bad day like fever pain nausea um I ended up calling off sick on Friday because I felt so bad um I just felt crappy like another fever took two naps that day this is probably my favorite Thanksgiving art I've ever, like, kit I've ever used. So then this was my December monthly, and I, again, just did, like, regular handwriting, which I think worked out fine for this, but I love this washi banner. It's so pretty. Um... So then this was the start of my Holly Jolly spreads. Um, so I wanted to do the blue and green for the split November, December week. This is the elf kit. I used gold foil with it. It's real pretty. Um, and this is when I like went through and like I pre-planned like all of my weeks through January, like the foundation of the kit. Um, so I was like still sick and finally feeling better here. Um, I should not have gone. I had vision impairment. I like drove to work on Monday and was like, I shouldn't have driven here. Like, 
It was so bad. Um, da -da -da, ba -ba -ba. Oh, this was really fun. Um, we went on a double date at Brentwood. We went to go see lights at Stan Hewitt. And then I did, we did like a bar hop with a bunch of Joe's doctor friends. And then I just was feeling like, eh, like I wasn't really super like hungover. I was just like tired and like really dehydrated. I didn't drink that much. I think I had like three glasses of wine over like five or six hours. So like I wasn't like wasted or anything. It was just like, you know, when you eat a lot of salty food and you're sort of like, I stayed up way too late last night. And the, um, Oh, that's right, because we got Swenson's afterwards, and that was what, like, my stomach just hurt so much from, like, eating all that junk food. Um, oh, and then we got a mouse invaded our pantry, and I had to throw away a bunch of stuff and clean a bunch of stuff, and I was not thrilled about that. Um, but we caught it. We think it was just the one mouse. And then we um, haven't had an issue since. I did have an exterminator come in to, like, figure out where it was coming in, and he was like, your house is, like, really tight. Like, there was one spot we found that he's, like, this is the only place it could possibly be coming in, and it was even then, like, very small, so we were able to, like, fill that in. Um, Monday I had a fever, and I did not go into work. I had a dentist appointment. I, like, went back to bed so I could sleep in. I think I was in bed till, like, 1 or 1.30. Um, oh, and I, I didn't do my wiggle. This is all, like, hollow glitter from rose colored days and then a wiggle up wednesday from scribble prints co that matched really beautifully so this is all of the hollow hollow glitter sparkly stuff um yeah the exterminator i was so tired this day but joe and i like wanted to go on a date night i hadn't seen him like all week and so we went to olive garden after my bible study um I drove to Columbus to get my hair cut. I went to Home Goods with my mom in the morning, and then I got lunch with my mom and my brother Charlie. And then I came home and just had like the chillest me time. Um, I like had wine and just like sat in bed and read. And then I ended up like finishing planning out last week and watching South Park. Um, I had another fever. I did work nine to five on Saturday. I read like the whole time I was on desk. It was a really slow day. Um, came home and like had tea and a fever, which sucked, but it is what it is. Um, oh, I made beef stew this Sunday, which was sort of, it was like the same beef stew I've made before, but like the meat like didn't want to like I cooked it like an hour longer, like the meat still wasn't just, it wasn't falling apart. It just ended up like not tasting very good. And I don't know if it was just like not a good cut of meat or whatever. Um, I ended up throwing away like half of it. I was like really bummed out, but it just, Joe and I like didn't really want to eat it. And I made that recipe like 15 or 20 times. Like it's my go-to beef stew recipe. So I think I just like got a bleh, like cut of beef. Ooh, yes, this is my pink hollow, my pink hollow week. So I used the pink glitter Wiggle It Wednesday from Scribble Prints Co. and the pink hollow from uh, Rose Colored Days, which is beautiful. And then I did do just the normal hollow Girl Boss Anna All the Presents overlay because she had sent me samples of that. Um, I had a pink hollow sampler to be able to do like the to-do list there in pink. Um, so this is what was going on here. Oh, I went and got wine with my friend Nor at, um, we were supposed to go to Uncorked. We ended up going to the Mustard Seed because Uncorked was closed for, um, like a private party. So on a Tuesday, I guess, probably like a corporate holiday party. Um, da -da 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 -da. what happened? There was a lot of wine had this week. Um, I was very, like, stressed out at work. Um, I had my rheumatology follow-up appointment. This is when I got diagnosed with lupus and Hashimoto's. Um, I started watching The Princess Switch. I didn't finish that one. Um, I started watching The Christmas Inheritance. I didn't finish it till later. Um, sometimes if they're, like, really cringy, I just, like, can't make myself 
finish things and then I'll like have to watch them in chunks otherwise I get like overwhelmed by the awkwardness of everything oh and then this was we went to Columbus and I met up with um Lucas or Planner Boy Jams in Colum like in Columbus we went to the Melt and then we went and got ice cream at Jenny's and then like a Miami University acapella group came in which is like we're like why is Miami acapella in Columbus right now and then there was another couple in Jenny's out of like the eight people that were there, they were Miami mergers and Joe and I are Miami mergers. And it was like super magical. And I was like, I feel like I got to show the best side of Columbus to Lucas. Like it was just a truly magical experience, like eating the world's best ice cream and being serenaded by like an amazing acapella group. It was real good. And then by the time we got home, I was a zombie. I was completely pooped. Um, and I was the one that drove home, like Joe drove there and then I drove home and I was pooped by the end of that day. So then this was the SPC kit, wonderful. And I used the matte taupe. Um, I, had, I did pull in like a little bit of silver if I didn't have an option to use matte taupe. Um, like, I mean, there was some silver in the foil, um, the washi that matched this kit. Um, and the to-do, Thing is silver but this matte taupe works so beautifully with this kit um and I did do a silver hello weekend banner if you can see so I don't do a lot of pastel kits but this was so pretty and I like that there was the darker like the green from the trees and stuff like in a lot of the half boxes and the deco like that broke up the pastel for me um but this is just such a pretty kit. Um, it makes me so happy looking at it. Um, I actually just finished this week, like yesterday. Um, I've been writing all of my stuff down in my Kiki K, um, like when I'm not up to plan so that I remember what to fill out for each day. Um, what did I do? Yeah, I was super tired. I didn't go into work until my time for my desk shift, which was like three to five. Um, there was really awful, it took me like over an hour to get home. I should have gone the back way, but like by the time I realized how bad the traffic was, I like couldn't turn around. Um, da, 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 da. I love these gingerbread latte stickers from Paper and Milk. Um, This was when I like had uploaded stuff and then realized I had exported it on the wrong settings, um, which sucked. And I had to like re-export a bunch of things. Um, Joe and I watched Four Christmases. It was on HBO, so we watched it. And then we had Four Christmases this year, five, four or five. We were, we were like done with Christmas by like New Year's. We were like, okay, I don't wanna see anyone for like three months. Like I just wanna stay at home. Um, what else was going on? We drove to Columbus to spend the day with Joe's family. Um, I took mac and cheese with me. We had like dinner there. We went to mass with them. We played a bunch of, um, Jackbox games, which was hilarious. Um, like the go-to like answer that like wins every time with his family is just like anything about his brother Steven like I don't know why like you would just it didn't even have to make sense if you just put Steven as the answer to anything like you would win um so that was just like really funny um and then on Sunday I took like a bubble bath for the first time in a really long time listened to my audiobook and then was reading a bunch this is when I was reading like the winner's curse trilogy because that was the book that was had been on my Goodreads to read list the longest it had been on there for like four and a half years. And I was like, okay, I either need to remove this from my to read list or I need to read it. And I actually liked the first one. The second one was like, eh. and then the, th the third one was like the probably the best out of the three of them. Um, but it was just like a fun series, super fast to read. Um, but yeah, I was reading that that night. And then this was my Christmas week. So um, this was the Home Alone kit that Kit Nish Girl drew for Andrea. Um, and I, or did she do it for not for, I don't know, this, maybe this was an exclusive clip art. 
this wasn't exclusive. I don't know why I thought this was exclusive. I did goof up with one of my overlays and tried to like undo it and you can see like it's not as clear but whatever. But I did the ruby slippers wiggle at Wednesday and then the rose colored days um, red glitter foil. So this was, um, I did a shortened to-do list because I knew I was going to be out of town the back half of the week and that way I could do extra full boxes. I did pull in this buffalo plaid because there is buffalo plaid like washi. This is a little bit brighter but I really wanted to use the the buffalo plaid washi. Um, so I have like a red glitter sampler for most colored days so I did have a red glitter hello weekend banner. Um, I just love everything about this week. This was Christmas Eve. We went to Christmas Eve mass with my grandparents and then went over to their house with all of my mom's sisters. My mom has three sisters and they all live near where I do and my grandparents live near where I do. Um, so we were all over there. My cousins were there. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then Christmas day we chilled out in the morning and then we went to Christmas dinner at my Aunt Julie's house. Um, so we saw everyone again and there were like 35 people there. It was an insane party. Um, Wednesday, I worked late. Um, Joe went and got Taco Bell breakfast for us. I came home. I like read all day at work. I was like, look, I'm here for two days and then I'm off for 10 days. I'm not starting any projects. Like, let's be real. I kind of like, I told one of my supervisors, I was like, let's be real. Nothing's going to get done in the next two days. I'm gonna read and she was like yep that's kind of what I'm doing too and I'm like cool glad we're on the same page so I like read while I was on desk all day and I hit my hundred books this day um Thursday I ended up leaving after my desk shift um because I was like yeah I'm not gonna do anything for the next two hours like I'm gonna be gone for 10 days so I'm just gonna leave <laughs> so I took two hours of vacation and then read more on Thursday night. I was off Friday um, to like pack and get everything ready for going to Indiana. Um, read like I did a bunch of cleaning stuff. I built my Lego ship in a bottle, um, packed. We went, my friend um, from Columbus, Caitlin, was in town because um, her parents like live in the area and so we went on a date night with her and her husband um we hadn't seen them in like six months so it was really nice to get to see her and then we drove to indiana on saturday and this was actually a really i felt terrible i felt bad about feeling bad this whole weekend i had super bad joint pain like saturday sunday monday tuesday and be i think part of it was being in the car for like five hours four and a half hours on saturday like every time we stopped to go to the bathroom i like would almost fall getting out of the car because my like legs hurt so badly. Like the first time I got out, then I was able to like brace myself the next few times, but I was like falling apart. I played a bunch of um, the new Mario and Rabbids, the Donkey Kong expansion. Um, played that on the Switch in the car because Joe did the driving. Um, we opened, we did like Christmas with my parents. Um, we did like wine and cheese for dinner which is like my favorite meal ever and then we watched home alone and about halfway through the movie I went upstairs to go to bed because I was so tired like I was fall I fell asleep on the sofa while we were opening gifts like I laid down like and closed my eyes and I like fell asleep for like five or ten minutes and then I like was jolted awake um I was so tired so I ended up just going up to bed like halfway through the movie so I could just lay down instead of like trying to keep myself awake. Um, and then Sunday was my mom's 60th birthday and it was a really terrible pain day. I didn't sleep super well the night before and I was trying to nap all day, but like I don't sleep well at my parents' house just because they're like, I'm a very light sleeper and I don't do well when there's a lot of people in a house and like people just make like normal noise, but like normal noise keeps me awake. And my brother kept like, standing at the top of the stairs and like yelling down to my mom and I'm like oh my gosh like and then he started playing the piano which is like 10 feet from like the bedroom I was like why are you playing the piano like you know I'm trying to nap like why do you think this is okay and I got really bad nausea like I thought I was gonna throw up like my eyes were watering I had mascara running down my face because I was like trying 
so hard like you know you get that feeling where like in your jaw and I was like I cannot puke in the car I cannot puke in the car because we were on the highway and I was just like I don't know I felt so sick I ended up going to bed at like 8 30 and then I got woken up at like 11 by it was really hot upstairs and so we'd opened a window because it wasn't that cold outside and then their neighbor's dog started barking at like 11 30 like a little yappy dog and it woke me up and then I didn't fall back asleep till like 5 30 in the morning and I was we ended up leaving really quickly on Monday because I felt so awful um but like it's just part of I we probably did too much like all of the we shouldn't have done like seeing his family on Saturday and then traveling that day traveling I mean, even though it's like only a half an hour 35 minute drive it was just like too much and then the date night and everything like I did not have enough downtime and I think that's why I had such a bad like pain weekend um for this weekend which I felt bad because it was my mom's 60th birthday and like my sis my brother and my one brother and his wife both got sick and they ended up staying home because like they had fevers and stuff um they were like actually sick sick so my mom was just like bummed which I felt really bad about because like I was sick and they were sick and they weren't there and then I was there but I was like like in laying down in bed the whole time and I just felt bad about it but I really enjoyed this this spread so um but yeah um this is the this is the finish this is the last I mean this is the last spread of the year because then it's into January so this is it um thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed my flip through and I am going to do a quick flip through of my memory keeping like not talking about things that happened each week but just like flipping through the kits um I might only do it for the second half of 2000 eh, uh, there's some stuff I really liked in like the second quarter of 2018 so I think I'll just do a full flip through but um until then um that's all from me so I'll talk to you in my next one guys bye